Welcome in Rug Matbot. Well, hello there. Again. <laughs> Here we are again. Feels it was uh, yesterday when we just saw each other. Was it not? How are you doing, Rugmat? We are indeed starting an hour later today. The reason is simple. I was at the cinema. It's the time that was available to watch the movie we wanted to watch with my partner. So that is why we are starting an hour later than normal. I hope you, uh, you're doing well, Rugmat. I know it's not quite weekend for you yet. Welcome in Lady underscore Joy. Lady Joy, hello. New phone who dis? Hello? Yes? Sorry, I should do this properly. Hello? Mm-hmm. Lady Joy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Abs of course you can you can just come to the stream right now. No no, the It's free. It's entirely free to watch. Yeah, yeah, there's already people here and everything. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Rugmat just dropped as well in the drop game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, bye. Love you too, bye. That's true. No more ads, Lady Joy. No more ads. Because we are unaffiliated. We are no longer affiliated with Twitch. Although we are on Twitch. And we look like Twitch. But we are not Twitch. <laughs> no more ads. How are you doing, Lady Joy? It's good to see you again. What cinematic masterpiece did you partake in? We watched Deadpool versus Wolverine, is what we decided to watch today. No regrets. I will give no spoilers. All I will say is zero regrets. Absolutely none. Have you seen it yet? Rugman? Has anybody in chat seen 
the movie, Deadpool v Wolverine. Glad you got that sorted out with the ads. I'm doing good, currently studying for my driver's license. Oh, very exciting. Very exciting. You haven't seen... Oh, you haven't seen any Deadpool movies. Now that surprises me, Rugmat. Given where you're from, and given where Ryan Reynolds is from, that surprises me that you haven't seen any Deadpool movies. But it's not everyone's flavor. Comedic action is a, a unique flavor of movie genre. So it's not everybody's cup of tea. Or cup of Mountain Dew, however you want to frame that. Um, I have something fun to share with you all today, though. <laughs> I have something very fun to share. Lady Joy, what do you think of our new layout? Of our new stream layout? That's the real question. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't run my aircon for as long as I wanted to before stream, so it's a little bit warm in here. Maybe we're going to turn the lights down a little. Make that a little bit more cozy. Um, but yeah, I have something fun to show you all, and then I think we're gonna do, um, yeah, we're gonna do some interesting things today. Um, I don't know how far we're gonna get, but we're gonna do some interesting stuff. So what do I have to share with you all? Well, I'm not going to wait any longer. Um, I've given people enough time to come here and come in. If you're not here yet, then it's your fault, basically. I like the new layout better than the previous one. I prefer a cleaner look. The last one made me uncomfortable with all the crooked angles. <laughs> I've actually deleted it from my OBS, so I can't even like... I can't even go back to it for fun or something. Like, I, I literally don't even have it in OBS anymore. Um, one thing that's a bit fun about this one is there's lots of little Easter eggs. So I've added a little Easter egg. Um, and I'd like, to, I'd like to demonstrate it to you. So here's a little Easter egg I've added. Watch the left side very carefully. Watch very carefully here what happens when I shout out one of the claw team members with a clip it's the <laughs> look it's the black once again i have an issue with the blacks wow that was not racist at all but you see here it highlights the person who was shouted out isn't that cool unfortunately i don't know how long the clip is going to be so I just decided to highlight it for 30 seconds. Um, that doesn't work on standard shout out yet. It might though, actually. I wonder if that also works on actual shout out. Now I have to see that. Wow. Did you like it, Lady Joy? Let me actually check if that works on actual shout outs. Is there? Do we already know? Let's see. Ada might know what shoutouts are. Shoutout sent. Ah. Shoutout sent. Channel. Maybe. Actually, might be able to do that. Might be able to do that too. It might actually work on shoutout as well. I'd have to play around with that a little bit. But yeah, I, I did that yesterday. Um, did you? No, yesterday. No, I did that. What? Wait, when did I do this? Oh uh, yeah, no, I did this last night. Very, very late. <laughs> like I took a break from streaming. Like after stream, I took a break. Um, have some food and stuff, and then later I came back to my computer and actually did that again. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh, one thing I did have to show you. I need your opinion on this chat. I have an issue with... Um, I have an issue with vertical. So I don't know if any of you know, but I actually have... I have a vertical stream. 
And, well, the issue with vertical is very simple, is that I don't have Twitch's vertical layout for vertical. And I'm wondering for clips whether I should actually have the vertical layout. Because, well, um, yeah, it might make sense to have it. But anyway, let's start with what we normally start with. I trust that everybody is here. Um, otherwise, you know, you've had enough time to come here. You've had enough time to be here. So if you're not here right now, that's too bad for you. What do we start with? There's always one thing that we start with the stream. And that is always the same because we like humans are creatures of habit. So we always start with the same thing. And that is the meme of the day. And today I am very proud to report that today's meme is very popular. So popular. In fact, I can tell you how popular it is in a moment. But first, let's show it. Today's meme of the day is an Olympian meme or an Olympic meme, if you want to say that that way. Today's Olympic meme is simple and relatable. Everybody can relate to this story. If you don't know the background behind this meme, I'm also going to explain it very briefly. These are two Olympian shooters. These two shooters had very different starting points and uh, equipments and training. Above on the top, we have the South Korean shooter who has special glasses, has um, incredible equipment, very, very specific getup, um, all kinds, all kinds of stuff, really just superb preparation. And we have the Turkish shooter. I don't remember their names. Sorry, my bad. Um, who rocked up with nothing but earplugs and over the counter prescription glasses. And the, what what's so funny about about this is that they both achieved the same result with with a very small difference. But yes, it is very popular meme at the moment. Um, I converted it into a better thing than just the meme. So obviously with you, I'm just sharing the meme. But on LinkedIn, I shared this as an actual post. Um, and this post, <laughs> this post, <laughs> this post is doing numbers. This post is doing serious numbers. Um, let me show you how, the, how, how this post is doing. So choosing tools for your business must always be based on the needs of your business. Just look at these two Olympian shooters. Kim Yeji has advanced gear, including an eye cover, specialized eyewear, and ear protection. Yusuf Dikkech, I'm not sure how to pronounce the name, sorry, has basic over-the-counter prescription glasses and some ear protection. They both achieved silver, but used different setups to do so. You can have the most modern data stack you want, but without a clear outcome driven strategy, you'll probably just burn a hole in your company's pocket. So how do you choose data tooling correctly? Define your goals, evaluate based on fit and prioritize scalability and integration. So aim for clarity and purpose. That's on purpose. I did a pun. Aim for clarity and purpose in your data strategy, just like the shooter who knows exactly what target they need to hit. And basically, this thing already has 25,000 impressions. <laughs> I mean, this, this, it has like plus 300 reactions already. Um, I mean, this is doing absolute wild numbers right now. 25,000 impressions. None of my posts usually scrape past a thousand, 2000. So this is, yeah, <clears throat> this is serious. Serious growth, and a, a lot of the comments are are really good. Like, oh no, we lost Welcome you. We lost you to the bad meme. <laughs> hey, Rossum. But honestly, I believe that this is a a valuable insight that I think a lot of people do know. But you Welcome don't need you don't need the best tools to do a good job. It's just that simple. Hi, Marcy. You don't need the best tools to do a good job. They're not even necessarily the best tools. That's the irony of the situation. So that is the meme of the day. 
if of course you want it for yourself and you want to share it, then I'm giving you the raw version. I'm not even giving you the promotional point, but if you want to promote it, I'll give you the LinkedIn link. If you really want to promote it, of course, I'm not going to say no to free, free content sharing, right? That's a, a great way to support other creators is to, you know, upvote or share their content with other people. It's really just an easy thing to do. That's totally free. It just takes a few clicks from you and it really helps creators out to get their content in front of more people. So always remember that not for my content, don't share my content in general, but other creators who deserve it sharing. So what did I want to show you? I wanted to show you um, the vertical layout problem. So it's a bit inception moment, but basically this is the vertical layout. Let me change the vertical scene to be, here we go. So I have a bit of an issue with the vertical layout because right now my Twitch layout, like my desktop layout, my 16.9 layout is, is for Twitch. But then the 916 vertical is just like some weird frame thing. So I was kind of wondering, should I do Twitch's mobile version too? Like if you go, if you go to m.twitch.tv, I think you can go to the mobile site. Yeah. So if you go to Twitch's mobile site and you actually go into mobile version, um, I want to make a new one, add a custom device, 1080, 1080 by 1920. Device pixel ratio of 300. No, what is it? 72 device pixel ratio must be less than or equal to 10. Okay. Let's do 10. Oh, well, that goes away. Um, okay. What an interesting layout. I actually like the vertical integration into this one. It looks really good for presentation type streams, which yours kind of is. I actually really like the vertical integration into this one. Wait, oh, you mean if I put my camera here like this? Is that what you're talking about? And then have my content here. Like a lot of streamers are doing this. Like A is, A is doing this. A actually does this. Um, the only thing I would change for this current layout would be to hide the chat because we can collapse it if we want to, but this way it's forced on the screen, even if I'm watching your stream vertically. Ah, yeah. But you see this frame itself, this is a bit confusing now. This frame in here is still 16.9. Like that, that frame is still 16.9. So you're not, you're not missing any content. Like I'm not cropping something that you would normally see. I just don't have it. It's just smaller for you, but, um, collapsing chat. That's a very interesting, uh, point. So if you look very carefully on this layout, You'll notice there's a couple things that don't really exist if you watch my stream. Can you spot them? In the meantime, I'm going to do another shout out clip for let's do bad cop. <laughs> oh, wow. That's an old clip. You got this. It's a good little case loot boxes. <laughs> Interesting. I know I'm not missing content, but your screen is smaller. I have an iPhone 2020, so my screen is much smaller than all these half tablets. Oh yeah. My partner has a small iPhone as well. I know what you mean though. Well, the thing is in this layout, it's pretty okay. The thing is in the, sh in the screen share layout. So in the screen share layout, I'm actually below. So I'm actually down, I can't point to it now, but I'm actually down. Wait, I can't point to it. I'm actually here. I don't know if you noticed that, but my camera is actually in the profile picture. Now, the thing is that that's, that's fairly small for Twitch. It's only like 
48 by 48 or something. So it's, it's pretty small. And if you're not looking for it, you may actually miss it. So I can change, I potentially could have a third layout that is me like this. If we do, if we simulate it, it would be kind of like this, I guess, in a way it would more, more likely be, I think like this, does that even work? No, it doesn't work, but it's going to be more like, it would be more like this. Um, can't make this bigger. Oh, I can't make it taller. Yeah. I just, I don't really know like whether I should even go in the direction of this. Am I even logged in? Can I go to my own channel? This is what it looks like on mobile. Interesting. So it's just chat. It's just chat. There's nothing else. There's the stream. Oh, this is so meta. Now you see chat twice. You see chat here and here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, and there's also a certain shade of green that triggers the green screening. I think it's this one. Hold on. Yeah, this one. It's really similar, at least. <laughs> this is so weird. I think for covering news, this layout with you on the left is great. Oh yeah, we could have... This is so funny. I'll think about doing that, Lady Joy. I'll definitely think about it. In the meantime, I think... Um, I'm probably gonna stick to... Probably gonna stick to this layout for a while. Um, at least for the sharing stuff. Like, I don't want you all, like, I don't want you to miss the content. I'm not so concerned with you seeing me, but like, I want you to be able to consume as much of the content as possible. And this is also the thing is that's why I went back to the green screened background so that you can do cool backgrounds. Like this one, for example. And yeah, and that would enable me to yeah, that would enable me to just share the content with you and then you don't you don't miss the chance for the background Welcome as well. Dave Kind. Hello, Davkind or Davekind, as my announcer calls you. So yeah, this meme's doing pretty well. I'm pretty happy about it. Um Okay. Let's start talking about what we're doing today. Well, what are we doing today? We are trying to clean up something we're trying to clean up something and it's a bit tricky because i have i have data and as you know i'm making a video about serial killers i have quite a lot of data i have uh i have around 1400 perpetrators and i also have um not only that, I have started to, I've started to uh, think about the data structure and I've come to a kind of conclusion on the data structure as well. Um, and, and basically I've decided this is actually not correct. So I've decided on a structure like this. Um, need to have something in between. So there will be, um, there'll be kind of links like this. This is basically, yes, I'm doing a video about serial killers, um, not to promote serial killing or something like that, but because the data is very rare and not easy to find. Um, so, um, what did I decide? This is not correct. Yeah. So what did I decide? 
Green scene background is good for your type of streaming. Welcome Too many to visual time. stimuli is, this is distracting. Yeah, 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 I know that. So, basically, um, we have an incident. So, a perpetrator causes... Actually, I should, I should write it that way. I, I did a data modeling workshop once where they said that you should use... Um, adjectives, sorry, verbs, for the in-between parts. So a perpetrator causes... Can you italic this? No. No italics? What? Okay, let's just do this. So causes, or perpetrates, if you want to be specific about it. Kara, hello, by the way. Um, and then an incident, and an incident carries a crime, but a crime can actually be one to N. So this is actually a one to N relationship. This is also one to N. A perpetrator can cause multiple incidents. Oops. And then we also have an incident involves one to N victims. So this is the data structure of this. Now, an incident has a location, it has a date, and it has a result overall. This is something we still have to work out what we wanna what we wanna do with that. That's not something we can necessarily see. Um, we might have to put result into a, a sentence. I was thinking about that too, that we might actually have we might actually have crime. Incident carries a crime. No, that's not the right. Sorry, I meant sentence for this. Why did I write this with minus? Sheesh. Friday, people. Oh yeah, it's Friday. How's your week been, chat? What's been what's been up with you, chat? Tell me tell me about cool things that you did this week. They don't have to be wins in the classic sense, but tell me about something cool that happened this week. I want to I want to know about that. I'll think about if I have something cool to say. So, okay, so we would have a crime an incident um an incident what would what would be the word for that? An incident something a crime. An incident an incident blank a crime. What is the missing word? Becomes. Any other suggestions? Constitutes? That's not bad. Constitutes. Now, the thing is that a constitutes can be one to N because one incident could have multiple crimes attached to it. Um, and then a crime. Constitutes a crime. And then a crime carries, oh my gosh, chat. I cannot draw her shizzle. A sentencing sentence. Okay. Although this could be one to N, right? No, it's one to one. You get one sentence. Um, 
Finish my daughter's room remodel. New floors. Oh, Kara, that's so cool. That's really cool. What what kind of uh, what kind of flooring did you go for? That's really cool. I dream of doing more. I dream of doing more handiwork. I really love. I really love working with my hands, and that's why I enjoyed so much building this aircon thing that some of you have seen. Welcome in Tripadawan. Because it's just. It's just so satisfying to work, to do something, to create something with your hands rather than something on the computer. I don't know. There's something about it. Lady Joy finished my summer language course, got my driving permit, and now continue my driving, my theory studies for the driver's license. And I also found a great storage solution for your crafts. Ooh, very cool storage solution. We're all a little bit OCD when it comes to storage, I think. <laughs> Engineered hardwood. She had carpets which were impacting her allergies. Oh, wow. Okay. Hi, Dr. Padawan. It's been on the list of things to do because of allergies. Solid. So if you weren't here, by the way, Rugmat, let's share your clip from yesterday, actually. Um... Storage organization is hot. Like, that is... Mm, storage organization is a thing. Um, let me share a clip with all of you. We had a very momentous occasion yesterday. Namely, that someone actually hit the 99.98. It's okay, I can do it, Rugmat. I've got the link. 99... Sorry, 99.89. Oh, <gasps> Rugmat. Did your No. No. No, no, no. Did your bot just land? I think you did it. I think you did it. I think you've done it, Rugmat. I think it's happened. It's actually happened. Wow. You've actually done it. <laughs> you've actually landed. It's not a hundred. It's not a hundred. It's not a hundred, but... Oh my god. I can't believe this. Rugmat did indeed land 99.89, which means the score has now reset again to 100, and it shall be reduced again for each stream. That's right. I mean, yes, technically it was your bot, but I didn't ask you to prove ownership of your bot account. I mean, in theory, in theory, someone else could be running your bot account. In theory, someone could, someone could be running your bot account, right? It's possible. It's possible possible also Marcy good to see you as well and anybody else lurking not finding the time to chat today that's totally fine good to see you all happy that you're here oh now we do have full bunny cam though that's something we didn't have before <laughs> you never got to see full bunny cam so this account is wholly owned and run by Rugmat. okay that's that's proof enough that's proof enough. That's proof. Uh, if I go, if I go share and then I do this, then I'm also still in the frame. Oh, look at the loaf. Look at that loaf. Oh, he got a haircut, by the way. He got a little haircut and I took a photo because um, he got a haircut and he's looking, he's looking incredibly cute. Would you like to see the photo chat? Would you like to see the photo? Here's the photo. Look at this floofer. Look, look at this young, adorable little face. He, his hair was in his eyes before, so it was hard for him to see a little bit. And now, now he's got a little haircut. And his nails are also shorter. He got his nails trimmed. So he's so quiet now. Like this, this wall here behind, this wall right here is the wall that's behind this desk. So whenever he would stretch out and put his um, 
put his feet against the wall, I always hear the clicking of his nails against the wall. And now I don't hear it anymore. <laughs> I don't hear it anymore. So yeah, very, he's so, he's, he's so, he's such a gentleman. He's so, he's so like, he loves to pose. It's, it's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so this is the data structure that I'm going for. Um, basically a perpetrator, uh, is, and then there's things like, um, What's this thing in here? Name. What else is in here? Uh, name is is multiple people. Uh, ha oh, we can actually say has a name uh, is multiple persons um, is alias that kind of stuff. There's more in there. It's not only that. Um, yeah, it's the result. Exactly. So an incident has a location and a date, and then it has like summary statistics of like how many people it affected and stuff, but that's different because it's not in the underlying data structure. That's something you compute. Um, so then you have a crime, right? You have an incident constitutes a crime and then the sentence, sometimes there's a sentence sometimes or often not there is not no sentence um because then you can say in the sentence uh you can say the sentence is for example and you can say uh i don't know what do we what do we say for sentence we had some ideas in here um yeah like whether they were um What's it called? Trialed? Like is... Is trialed... Um, is... Prison... Like, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like you can have, you can have the information about the sentencing. Then you can have information about the crime. Um, the crime is like... Is... Um, punishable death um because like is it punishable by, by death but that's like i guess oh that varies by region doesn't it um oh i don't think we can use that what kind of attributes could be for a crime um what attributes would a table of information about crimes have in a database? Okay, crime ID, great, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we already know, we already know the incident that's separate. Category of crime. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, so we'd have like a category of what crime it is. We would have a description. Status, yeah. And there would be an investigation, wouldn't there? I guess there would be an investigation too, but it goes a bit too far. We're not modeling the police department here. Um, oh yeah, we could have arrests. We could have uh, an arrest thing. I guess we could have a perpetrator flag with um, is arrested, was arrested, is arrested, was arrested. What's the options for that? Was arrested, has has been arrested so has arrest okay yeah so if they've been arrested at least once i suppose we could have that anyway so this is the kind of structure we're going for the victim is victim is uh victim attacked 
buy. What's another word for attack? Alternative word for victim is blank. Attacked by targeted Yeah, let's do targeted. Targeted, because that doesn't mean the attack is necessarily physical. Um, yeah, so we, we came up with a few things here. Things like technique, uh, weapon types, weapon names. Um, we're going to use is alive instead of has died. Um... Yeah, so basically this is the kind of underlying structure. Now, the thing is, is that right now I have a lot of information. So you have like things like sentence and stuff like that. Um, they might have had multiple sentences, which is why I chose to put the sentence into a separate um, object. But anyway, what I have is I have this notes field Welcome um, in and this notes field has a ton of information in it that is qualitative. Kishimita, hello! Hello, hello. So I have a lot of this information here. Now, content warning, some of this stuff is a little bit disturbing. I'm not going to read this stuff out, but a lot of it is a little bit concerning. And the question is, is can we get AI to convert this information here from 1500 lines into an actual something that is usable. Now I already cleaned up the perpetrators and I already, um, I already have a perpetrator ID. So this is, I'm going to be working with this data set. Um, I already tried doing it for gender. So if you look here, if I do, where is it unknown? So I have, out of all of these entries, I have 281. You have 281 or 282 entries with unknown gender. Um, or for example, Hold on, we have to exclude multiple persons. 291 rows. And then we have to exclude the unknowns as well. Exclude the unknowns. Where's the unknowns? Uh? Unknown. Filter by values. Oh, here we go. Unknowns are out. Okay, 277. Do you want the AI to turn this into a script for visualization or do you want the AI to spit out the video? No, 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 mm, no, 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 definitely not. No, no, no. In terms of process, I want to do the following. I want to take this data that I have right now. I want to take this data and I want to massage this data into something that is actually useful. Because that's something that doesn't exist today. This data that I'm generating here, this data that I'm actually creating from all of these data sets that I've, that I've accumulated and, and put together into one consolidated data set, and all of the ones that I am um, taking qualitative research from, and converting it into quantitative data that can be used, that's something that no one has done. And for that reason, it will be um, kind of locked. So I'm gonna have this data available on my Patreon. People can buy access to that data. I understand that some people would maybe think that's very bad, but the reason I'm doing that is because I've spent an enormous amount of time and effort to curate that data set. 
Um, and that's, you know, I'm selling my skills and not the data. I'm selling my skills, basically. And the reason why it's so interesting is because a lot of true crime podcast type channels on YouTube, a lot of places, a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of people in the serial killing true crime communities might be interested in this kind of data, but they wouldn't have had access to it, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make in the video then. So the first step is to basically create a curated data. That's the first step. That's always the first step, right? Then I am going to do some really cool analysis, right? I'm going to do some cool analysis and I'm going to find out some stuff. I'm going to find out some facts. I'm going to find out something about this. I'm going to say something about this something about that. and with those things, I'm going to accumulate those things and tell a story. And that story is the content of the video for YouTube. That simple. I don't know about profit. <laughs> I don't know about profit. You're awesome. I don't know if you've seen my YouTube channel. It's not, it's not monetized, but that's the process. Get the data, massage it, work it out, be able to do some analysis on it. And we're going to do all the analysis live on stream. So you're not going to miss anything. This is kind of like a project for me right now. And then we're going to turn it into a story that we can tell on YouTube and hopefully get some true crime people interested and maybe generate a little bit of sales from the data set as well. I hope that one person doesn't buy it and then just share it around because that would not be that would not be very cool. Oh, sounds like fun and you're excited. Great. Awesome. You're awesome. Yeah, so that's that's the plan. That's the plan. It's warm in here. If I turn on my aircon, let's do a little experiment. Do you notice any difference in my voice compared to before? Like, does it sound any different? Does it sound like it's processing something different? Because then I could actually run the aircon while streaming, which would be very comfortable for me. <laughs> it is very warm. I mean, it's probably around 27, 28 in here. You might run into some issues with the fact, depending on what information exactly you want to classify as facts. With serial killers, you always have a lot of correlations that don't necessarily equal causations. That is a very good point, And that brings me to one of my main points. Um, thanks for the feedback, by the way, Rossum. If, if something is different, like if I'm not easy to understand, then just let me know. Um, that brings me to one of the main points about this data set is um, citations. So one of the things I've thought about doing is attached to these things. I think it has to be outside this framework. It has to be a citation. I think this is where it has to go. So a citation is when you name, what is a citation? A citation is a reference to a source of information that you have used in your research, writing or presentation. Okay. So basically the idea behind the citation is that you can have a perpetrator and then you can have for example, here, um, a citation data set, and you'll have then an independent link. There's no link between these two things. You just have a citation and the citation looks like this. You have a perpet, you have an ID for the, for the citation, obviously. But then you have a perpetrator, per, perpe, no, perpetrator ID. 
but you also have an incident ID and a victim ID and a crime ID and a sentence ID. So the idea behind this is that if someone wants to know why something exists in a certain way, why something is written in the data set, what they can do is go to the citation and search for either the perpetrator or the incident or the victim or the crime or the sentence and find all of the citations. Now, I don't know how we're going to classify them yet, um, let's see, what does ChatGPT say about this? Uh, what's the shortcut? Um, citation styles, crediting sources, providing evidence, allowing verification, blah, blah, blah. A typical citation. So you have here, author, title, publication, date, source, publisher, location. So we could have a author uh publication date and the url for example we could probably just even do uh instead of author we could say source to keep it generic publication date we could probably have in there and url or source could be misleading right authors may be better and then source. The source could be a URL. So my idea is, for example, let's do one example together. I need to create this database. I haven't done that yet. And right now, everything is in Google Sheets. <laughs> like I said, sometimes Excel works. Google Sheets works. Um, let's look at a random one. Let's look at a serial killer from the United States, um, unknown gender, not multiple persons, not an alias. Okay, they were active from, can I keep this one row? One second, view, freeze, one row. So this one here. So they were active from 1985 to 2007. They are not active anymore. Now in the qualitative information, um, Known as the Grim Sleeper for the alleged 14-year hiatus he took from murdering between 1988 and 2002. Shot and strangled his victims, blah, 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 blah. Sentenced to death. So there are citations here. 209, 210. There are citations here. These come from uh, one of the data sources that I got. So if I search for um, this sentence online um serial killer flashcards great so this one's on wikipedia for example so you'll see here there are two citations one is from los angeles times one is from the guardian and one is from nbc news so what i would do is link to those citations if I say, for example, I would put a citation on March 28th, 2020, Franklin was found dead in his cell. So this is a citation related to the sentence and the perpetrator. So I would put a citation. I would have a citation or it would have a perpetrator ID and a sentence ID in it. And that would say, uh, perpetrator found dead in cell or something like that. Like there would be, basically I would, I, I basically here. So if, if, oh yeah. So if we have a perpetrator thing that says is alive, right? So if there's a thing that says is alive, then if this is false and someone wants to know, oh, how did this perpetrator die? or why are they not alive anymore? They can go to the citation and look for this perpetrator ID, or they could look through sentences and say, 
who died related to their sentence because it relates to that's the point that's basically the data structure i don't know if that makes sense to any of you does it make sense i don't know if it makes sense Does it make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Is there an intermediate object necessary? Mm. I think I think it makes sense. I think it makes sense, but hmm. What's the hmm? <laughs> oh, you think like a lot of those citations could be speculation. Let's go look at one of them. Let's go look at this one. So Los Angeles Times. I mean, this looks fairly... Yes, so any... So any... Any known news outlet is automatically going to qualify like as a... In terms of grammar, in terms of how they say things. So like this one. The Grim Reaper is sentenced to death for a string of murders. Like this isn't speculatory. Um, remains were found buried attributed to a bone collector right so like here for example there's an article who is the West Mesa bone collector so this is speculative maybe we could have a flag on the citation of like um, is speculative. Maybe we could add a flag for that. But I know what you're saying, Lady Joy. Personally, I don't think that most of the people who are going to work with this data set are going to care about that level of granularity, sadly. But I do. News outlets themselves are biased. Headlines are also sensationalized. Your most accurate unbiased source would be court documents. Yes, and I don't have the time to go through all the court documents. That's very true. I don't have the time to go through all of them. So what I want to do is I want to figure out if there's a way to get at least the qualitative information from... Sorry, it's so loud at yelling. I want to get the qualitative information from the Google Sheet. I want to get this column. I want to have it. I want to have it. Um, what do you call it? I want to have it. What's the word for that, chat? Um, extracted. I want to have it extracted. Yeah, I want to extract information from a qualitative column. Now, I don't know what the best way to go about this is. I know there's like sheet GPT tools. What do we think is the best approach here? What would you recommend, chat? I want you to think about that. So I basically I want to take all this information from here. Sorry. I wrote in the wrong place. See this notes field here? I need to make it bigger. Um, let's resize this column. Okay. So this, this information here. Welcome to Jonathan. Hey, Dr. Padawan and Jonathan. Hello. I did not know this, but you can link your OneDrive to ChatGPT and then talk about your document in ChatGPT. Yes, you can also do that in in this one and then i think hold on 
I think you can do it in ChatGPT with Google Drive as well. Um, settings, connected apps, Google Drive, connect. Continue. Your account is now connected. Okay. Do you find the document serial killers? Not document. Do you find the Google sheet? I'm not showing you my password. Do you find the Google sheet serial killers in my Google Drive? I can't access your Google Drive or any personal files directly. Really? Let's try again. Hold on. Are you sure I connected my Google Drive? What? I need to attach it. Oh, I see. Ah. Can you Welcome extract? Didn't Microsoft add the Ask AI formula? Hi, Fallen. Good to see you again. Uh, Ask AI formula in Google Sheets, though? Not so sure. I don't know if, if that works. Let's try. Let's try like this. Can you extract information from the notes column? on the perpetrator tab a is simple this? yes Excel. or no will suffice no excel sorry i just woke from a nap <laughs> you're all good fallen you're all good you're all good um the notes column exists if you need further extraction Okay, pd.xl file, file path. Interesting. Using pandas, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, let's try like this. For, let's pick a perpetrator that we know has notes. Yeah, here. Okay. For perpetrator, per... Perpetrator ID, this one only, extract the information from the notes column and place it into separate rows. The target columns should be, what target columns do we want? So information within here, information within here, killed seven people after Yemeni unification, fled prison, then proceeded to kill a young couple and three more people, killed during a shootout with police. Um, each sentence, each fact should be on a separate row. Uh, the target column can be named, what should we call it? Facts. Let's see what happens. Analyzing. Has anyone given ChatGPT a voice yet? Because that would be creepy. Has anyone done that yet? Oh, you can read it out. Yes, the notes column exists on the perpetrator tab of your- Ugh, creepy. It seems like I can't do more advanced data analysis right now. Please try again later. Oh no! Upgrade to ChatGPT Plus or try again tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so it seems I would need Plus for this. Would it be worth- Might be worth getting Plus for a month. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, let's take a short break.
and I'll see you all in a couple minutes. Our personal history, even if it's only pulling from my channel, right? But yeah, I want to um, maybe also pull in other information there. At the moment, we're just pulling in the just the redemptions themselves. 1.21 gigawatts. Wow. I had to lean back for the power. It was too powerful. Wow. 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 Here it is. I think we've done it. I think we did it. I think we did it. Let's go. Native Twitch UI. <laughs> this is so, it's so broken. <laughs> wow. I can't. Welcome in the Alex Earth. I can't. <laughs> oh. The thing is, where would you like to be, Barba Papa? Where would you like to be on the mask? Because you can be, you can be almost anywhere. Oh no. No, 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 no. I'm not ready, chat. I'm not ready. <laughs> 900 degrees. <laughs> Can I be a mustache? And then before you know it, we're doing something like this, right? It's like, oh no, he is doing math. He divides by zero. Boom, the stream ends. That's, you know. Do you know what I've re I'm realizing? Doing this guest stream with you, I wonder if it's the bunny suit or not, but it's so much more tiring than doing my own streams. What? What is that? Is it? So much yeah, more. I am, but you're just I sitting am, there. I mean. I am pooped. Wow. Well, we're going to take a break again in a couple of minutes, so it's fine. Or maybe I no, just I stream for longer, up. you know? Maybe I just stream I for to... longer, you know? Nah, maybe it's just so boring. <laughs> Roasted! I didn't even need to drop. I didn't even need to drop the items first and then pick them up very quickly with my other account. White Panther has actually created the perfect mechanism for laundering items offshore to not be taxed. You have literally recreated capitalism. So whose fault is it really that I am using the system? Whose fault is it really that I am doing the thing that is most natural, which is avoiding getting taxed. Was there something there? Oh, jeez! You are such, tr you are such trolls, you know that? You are so bad. <laughs> oh, freaking clowns, man. And woman. Why does it always have to be clowns? Now, you can combine this effect with all of the other effects. So you can change camera. You can do a time warp. Oh, no. The line looks so funky. Wow. That's incredible. The line is so cool. Wait, why is that happening? I need to check. Why is the line? Why does it... Weird, in it? I think I may have actually found the culprit for this. Hello. Welcome back, everyone. So I may have to get ChatGPT+. Plus in order to do this. Did you enjoy your break? Dr. Padawan, what is a stormtrooper? Was I a stormtrooper? Was there a clip with me as a stormtrooper? You know what I realized, chat? 
you don't have a time warp anymore. All the channel points are lost. Maybe let's do it. Let's let's bring back time warp. Should we bring back time warp? Let's do it. Let's bring back. Let's bring back time warp. Just for you, chat. Okay. What are you going to use the serial killer data for? Vikander, that is a very good question. It's a very good question. Wow, Rugma, your bot is so good. 90.1, 90.01, sorry. I did actually nuke your points, yes. So, Kvikende, I'm going to be using it for a video about how you can use serial killer data to find out interesting things about serial killers. Basically, I have a series on YouTube, which is called Using Data 2. And I can use data for anything. And it's kind of showing you how you can use data for anything. Doesn't matter what it is. What are you going to use? Uh, sorry, I read that already. Uh, hi, Ian. Good to see you. Let's bring back. Let's let's bring it back. Let's bring back the time warp. Super simple. Let's just do it. It's a little goody for you. Okay. A little goody for you, chat. Let's bring back the time warp. Um, time warp. Here it is. Currently, time warp is triggered by a channel point redemption. We don't have those anymore. Goodbye. Which also me means it needs to change categories into chat folder. Can I even do that? Ready to go. Ready to go. Time warp. Put it into chat. Um... Okay. Time warp. Play a sound. And then we need to have the scene. Camera main. Time warp. This is definitely it. Uh, streaming. Aggregate. Yes. Fine. But. 18 seconds. Camera main visible. Wait, does this even work? Oh, it does. Check out this shirt. <laughs> that worked perfectly. That did exactly what it should. A little bit too late on the screenshot, Rugmat. Um... A little bit late on the screenshot. So we know that it works, we just have to trigger it differently. Um, time warp. Visibility hidden. Ah, here. Rotation is the Twitch prompt. So we're going to have to update this. Okay, so the ro rotation is the Twitch prompt. Can we extract that from... Sorry, why am I getting... Go away. Um, let's try this. Twitch chat message chatter chat message um we're gonna listen for time warp okay we're gonna listen for time warp so if you put time warp anything and then we can have a variable we're gonna call it time warp angle it's going to be a whole number by default it is going to be 40 40 degrees i don't know if this works chat i honestly don't know if this works but we're gonna try it we're gonna try it um okay time warp blah 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 and then here Action delay zero. Rotation. We want it to be variables. Twitch message. Does that work? Oh, I guess we don't even need the variable. 
Or we maybe we need something to extract something from the message and then put it into the variable. Um, is that possible? Let me try something. Hold on. Atom. Uh, ver change global variable value. Global variable, time warp angle, current value 40. Modify, set to value two. I can't do, I can't set it. Is there a command in Atom versus a message? What do you mean by command versus message? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Hmm. This field is required. I can't set this to the value of the message. Okay, so that doesn't work. Let's try like this. Let's see what happens. Let's do... Ah, they don't have... Uh, so they don't have a chatbot right now. They don't have a chatbot right now. They will at some point. Um, so if I do time warp 95... That doesn't work, does it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good timing on that one. <laughs> Good timing on that one. So that's tricky. It's tricky. Um, time warp is only a partial message. Oh wow, why is, why is the background so weird? What kind of background is that? Someone happy. There we go. So, okay, I wanna have a random one. Oh, this creates clips every time, by the way. Um, You and your clowns chat. How can I randomize something? Can I make a random integer? That's the real question. Can I have a variable that's a random integer? Whole number decimal switch. Hmm. I don't think that works. Random integer in Python. Great. So it's always going to be, it's always going to be 40 degrees. It's always going to be the rotation that's specified. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I need to check one thing. I know that there's a action atom change global variable value time warp angle subtract Hmm. Multiply. Oh, we could do something. We could do something. We could have every time warp randomize the angle. We could have it randomize the angle. I realize how we could do this now. So if we do multiply by 3.8, 3, 38, that's gonna be too big. Multiply by seven. And what we do is we stick this up here, time warp angle, 
changed global value. Hold on. Uh, one second, variable. Okay, it starts at 40. And then... Random. And now, copy this block. And instead of multiplying by 7, we do divide by 2. And then we do another block where we multiply by 19. And then we do another block where we divide by 11. And now, whenever you run time warp, it is going to change the variable. Watch, let's do it. Here we go. Time warp. Oh, 20. I don't even see it. Oh, you were ready, Padawan. Oh, that's glorious. That's impressive. <laughs> that's very impressive. That's very impressive. That's super impressive. Okay, the lights are doing weird stuff. Okay, so now it's 20. Someone else in chat do time warp. Now remember, if you all do it at the same time, it's gonna reset itself. Oh, it's 380. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's very unfortunate. I need to learn more cool stuff with time warp. I need to I need to learn how to do a time warp better. Right now I don't know how to do time warps properly. Cool, okay. So it's 380. Oh. Oh wow. It only add tailwind. It only does the last one cuz it keeps resetting it. Just so you're aware. Um, also, I think I need to stop Welcome it from making. I need to stop it from making clips because that's that's going to be just silly. No clip. No, no clips. No clip. Oh no! What have I done? Hi, Jaron. Is that how I pronounce your name, by the way? I'm not sure if that's correct. Jaron Van Wissen. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be, it's taken a lot of clips, I think. I need to delete a lot of clips. It's the Dutch version of Jerome. Doesn't seem very random. Well, if you do it 10 times, if you do it 10 times, of course it's not random. You'll keep getting the same values. Add tailwind. It only does the last one, because it keeps resetting it. Just so you're aware. Um, also, I think I need to stop Welcome it from making. I need to stop it from making clips because that's that's going to be just silly. No clip. No, no clips. No clip. Oh no! What have I done? How many clips has Hi, it made? Hi, Jaron. I think it's made a lot of clips. I think it made a lot of clips. Yes, it did. Good thing I can delete all of them. Oh, that's a lot of clips. Two minutes ago. Three minutes ago. Seven minutes ago. Eleven minutes ago. Okay, I'm gonna delete those. So you if you have if you do a good time warp chat, you need to clip it. Okay? I want you to clip it. I want you to clip it, chat. It's that simple. Someone is destroying evidence. <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. Who put my background as a sandwich? What are you doing, chat? What are you doing? What is this? Oh, 
You know what I'm gonna do, chat? I'm gonna annoy you. I'm gonna annoy you, chat. You wanna see me annoy you? I'm just gonna be here. I'm just gonna be here. Live. Just like this. I'm just gonna annoy you by being here. <gasps> Is this gonna be doubled? What angle was that? Hold on. I'll tell you, it's currently at zero. Oh, wait, it's a whole number. It can't go below zero. Ah, uh, hold on a second. Hold, please. What? what? Put my faith in data. What? Information. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. once it goes to zero. I'm gonna make it a decimal. I'm gonna make it a decimal. Maybe that works. What's that smell? Food. Garbage. Wow, chat, seriously? Wow. Wow. You can't just leave me alone, can you? Okay, let's try this. Okay. Why is this not working? <laughs> you remember that series? Nice. It's a good. Sh it was a good show. <sighs> oh, it updated the variable automatically. That's why. It updated the variable. Uno momento, por favor. You just have to update all these blocks. Um, ah, crap, I forgot to put this in. Multiply by three. We've been binge watching that when my girlfriend and got COVID really bad. We were in bed for weeks. Yeah, we binge watched. That's exactly when we binge watched it. <laughs> when we were in lockdown, actually. Divide by seven. Multiply by 11. And then divide by two. So the chance of it becoming zero is now zero? I think. What a delicious stream. Nine point eight. Twenty nine point six. Garbage. Where did it go? What? Huh? This is not... Oh, did it... I know what it did. I know what it did. It updated it in here. It updated it in here. Oh, we never even did it in here! Craptastic! Great. Absolutely amazing gonna copy that amazing didn't even do it we didn't even implement it that's why it never worked um, I would love to be able to give additional properties with this like I would love to be able to actually extract commands with atom that would truly be next level because if we could do that then we can put everything from channel points into commands everything all right now it should work I'm open to your time warping. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. X coding. X coding. <laughs> this is this is what happens. Welcome in X underscore coding. <laughs> Hello, X coding. Welcome, Welcome in. Cox. <laughs> Ooh, this looks like a nice clip. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh my gosh! You could set a hundred commands. Of course. Of course. Welcome in, everybody. Good to see you. You need to hygiene your clips more. You do need to hygiene your clips more. Xcoding. But it's very good to see you. We've just been playing around a little bit with... Um, with uh, Atom. We've just been doing some Atom stuff. Uh, because people were complaining that they didn't have enough to do on this stream. Get away with your clowns. Get... Get out. I don't want your clowns. Um, my name is Maddie, Maddie Two Shoes, and I am a data streamer. Oh, second mouth there. I'm a data streamer. I do all kinds of data and tech stuff on streams. I also build build products for streamers. All kinds of weird things. Thank you for taking a screenshot, Rugmap. Did you actually get it this time? Welcome is the question. Underscore tattoos. Chaos Tattoos! Thank you very much for the follow. Did you actually get the screenshots today? Let's see if you got the screenshots, Argmat. So this is one. Hmm, it's okay. This is alright. Oh, you got it this time! <laughs> you got it this time. Good job. That's a bit weird. Uh, they're all in this folder, by the way. In case you were wondering, Argmat, where the screenshots are. Um, they're all in this folder, so it goes back all the way, goes all the way back to August of last year. Oh, this is almost a year's worth of screenshots. It's just like absolute chaos. Like if you just if you just scroll through all of them, it's just absolute chaos. There's so many, so many screenshots from so many different streams. Um, just really weird stuff that you decide to screenshot all the time, chat. I have no idea why chat screenshots this stuff. Like, why does chat screenshot this, you know? Why? Are they trying to catch me in a blink? Why? Why Why are you doing this, chat? Exactly. Why? 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 <laughs> like, there's just so many, so many questions. Anyway, um, yeah, so... That's that's my thing. Oh, and I've recently, if in case you haven't noticed, I've made a weird um take care, Xcoding. Thank you so much for the raid. And I, I didn't ask you how your stream was, but if you need to run, that's totally fine. Um maybe we'll see you again sometime soon. You can tell us more about what you were doing on stream. Um If you haven't noticed, this is a Twitch layout. It's a bit weird, I know. But it is a direct copy. Oh, time warp. This is actually a direct copy of Twitch. One to one. <laughs> it's a direct copy of Twitch. I actually made it in Figma. I'm very proud of myself. I see, Jaron, you're understanding uh, how it's working with the clowns. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing this. Yeah. What am I doing today? So, what I'm doing today is Panda. the following. Welcome in, Dev Panda. Good to see you. What I'm doing today is I am preparing data sets. I am preparing a data set, a large one, for a serial killer video. And so this is the data structure of the data set that I want to have. Um, basically, you have perpetrator, you have incident, you have victim, incidents, perpetrators. Uh, then you have crimes and sentences, and then you also have a citation table as a separate entity, which will contain uh, links to all of these other tables. So it's kind of like a star kind of schema, I guess. Although here it's not illustrated as a scar as a star. So I have this field in in my data set. I have about fifteen hundred perpetrators, and I have this field that has just multiple facts in it. 
like this one. Killed seven people after Yemeni unification, fled prison, then proceeded to kill a young couple and three more people. Killed during a shootout with police. Those are all interesting facts that I can use to further create this data set and curate it. But I've reached my analysis limit with free ChatGPT. So I think I'm going to actually pull the trigger and probably get ChatGPT plus 20 bucks a month. Um, up to five times more messages with GPT 4.0. That's a lot of messages. Let's do that. Let's upgrade to plus. Why not? $20 <sighs> a month. So I'm just putting in my credit card information. So you're not supposed to see this at all. Um, because it has all of my personal information on it. I'm purchasing as a business. You'll be charged the amount at the frequency listed above until you cancel. Build monthly. Subscribe. Give us your credit card or I help you. No, no, no. It's fine. I can do it on my own, Dr. Padawan. Oh, also Padawan. Have you been cooking at all in Panther World? Okay. We have access now. We have full access. So let's go back to this. Um, try this again. Failure. One time and it failed. So we're just giving it one. We're just giving it one perpetrator ID just to see how it does. Just to see how it does. No cooking for you. Which recipe did you try? It appears I lost track of the variables. Let me reload the file. Uh oh. This doesn't seem so positive. Oh. Each fact has been placed in its own row under the column facts. Where? Where though? Huh? It didn't, it didn't change my column. Uh oh, the meme got stuck. Did the meme get stuck? The meme got stuck, didn't it? Someone do a giggle. <laughs> yeah, probably why, actually. Why? 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 Okay. I think we probably should do a new chat. Um, for the perpetrator ID, blah, 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 only in my Google. Oh, you have to, sorry. In extract the information, add from Google Drive. Serial killers. Okay. Fresh pasta, garlic bulb, and a carrot. What would that have made? Each fact should be on a separate row. It failed that. No, that didn't work. Each fact, i.e. sentence, should be its own row. Wow. It still doesn't work. Oh. Why is it not good at this? I thought GPT was pretty good at data extraction. Um, each sentence, if it contains separate information pertaining to either 
the perpetrator crime victims or the sentence sentencing um, in each sentence then separate these into facts that are included one fact per row I just need to be a lot more explicit with it maybe Also, do I have enough things to cook? So you said fresh pasta, fresh pasta. I have, I have 11 pasta, uh, garlic bulb. Ooh, I don't have any garlic. I don't have any garlic. That's not good. Um, and a carrot. I have 11 carrots. Hmm. Okay. This is, it's not doing it. It's not doing it. Include the perpetrator ID for each row. Um, Sometimes uh, the original data contains semicolons and not sentences, but it is still describing. Oh my gosh, it's A. It's A! Separate pieces of Welcome information. To they belong on separate rows. Welcome in AWA underscore. Hello, A. Be there are not enough balls. We don't have enough balls. Not enough balls. Hi, A. A, check this out. I have a cool feature. Watch this. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? What? Are you ready for this? Watch your... Watch. Watch, watch, watch. Ready? Watch your name. Watch this. The thing is, I made a mistake. <laughs> and I... I thought I was picking up... Uh, testers... Isn't that from cool? The white pile, which was the case. Did it you see this in action? The white piles. But it, this one is... Uh, a slightly gray I'm in the profile picture. One. So when I applied the first call. Wow, I was like, hey, okay, this so is a, a long a clip. Here. It's a long clip. Um, yeah, it worked out great. I, I think it's really nice. We still have a lot of interactivity to build. Skill issue. <laughs> we still have a lot of interactivity to build. One of the things I want to do in particular is this thing here. Oh, another time warp. Uh-oh. No, nailed it. Still nailed it. Still nailed it. So one of the things I want to do is I want to tackle, if you see, I don't think I can draw all the way, but if you see here, there's two things there that don't belong. Why don't they belong? chat because i'm not monetized therefore as a non-affiliate as a community channel i don't have access to bits or channel points because i stole all of the points from dr padawan that's right so nobody actually has access to those things anymore so why are they there why are they there chat well they're there because i want to do a full-fledged menu system where you can open this menu. Oh, that's not what I wanted. You can open this. What the heck? Excuse me, one second. You can open by clicking that, 
and it will open up a menu and there will be items on the menu just like channel points and you'll be able to select those items anyway for all of you coming in with a's raid a is also a member of the claw as featured here in the claw team members list all very very cool people my name is maddie and i am a data streamer i'm a data person by trade i like to do data stuff on stream which is why that's what we're doing today as well i'm actually preparing a youtube video on serial killers not from the perspective of like glorifying their work or who was the most kills everyone ever did you know like nothing dramatic like that but i want to i want to come at it from a perspective of if we actually find interesting data we could tell a different kind of story um and i'm going to leave names out of that video out of respect for both parties both perpetrators and uh victims i'm going to leave names out of that video and i'm preparing the data set for that and i need i need ai's help actually um, you were a to multi-streaming today. Where did you, where did you multi-stream to? Where did you multi-stream to? Hey, I have to, I have to tell you a secret. There's hardly anyone here. So I'm going to tell you a secret, eh? I have a plan. Twitch and YouTube. I have a plan for multi-stream. Do you want to see it? Do you want to see my plan? <laughs> Because my plan is horrible. If you need to go, though, if you need to go. Wow. Hey, Lady Joy. Thank you very much. See you soon. Next week, we're going to Twitter. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I have a plan. My plan involves. Oh, you need to go, 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 go. I'll, I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. Oh, you're listening. Okay, 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 okay. Um. My plan involves making my stream more accessible. And the way to do that is by making my stream not only in English. Now, I speak two other languages fluently, French and German, in case you didn't know. Also, good night, Lady Joy. Thank you for being here. And to anyone else who's raided in, if you need to go take a break or whatever, of course, please feel free to do so. Yes, I, I speak data as well, fluently. But more importantly, I speak two other languages, French and German. But it's a little bit difficult to talk at the same time in three languages. But if, so, if someone wanted to listen to my content in French or in German, they could. I probably would be able to also stream in German or in French with enough practice. German would be easier than French, but the point still stands. So that got me thinking. What if I had streams of myself, but in French and German? That could be great, right? That could be great. And I found a way to do it. I found a way to do it. I don't have final... I don't have the final setup working yet, but I've done some testing already. And let me show you what my results have been so far. So I currently have two alternative channels set up. One is uh, in German and one is in French. And the idea is to use all local processing only. So not 11 labs, by the way, pre-processing plugins for OBS called Local Vocal. It's an AI plugin from uh, Roy, Roy Schilkrot. And this plugin allows me to simultaneously, simultaneous, actually there, there should be another plugin on here because um, I'm missing one. It's actually called Squawk. Squawk. Um, this plugin, Local Vocal, allows simultaneous transcription and translation of my voice. If you've ever looked in the closed captions of the video that you're seeing right now on the stream, 
So if you if you go onto Twitch's actual overlay, not this one, and you look, if you hover over the video player and you go to the bottom right corner, there's a little CC icon. And you'll see that there's closed captions for this stream. That's always been really important to me to have closed captions just in case, you know, in case you uh, cannot listen for whatever reason, you want to read instead. Now, what's interesting about this is that I have a way to get both closed captions in a foreign language, but also read out as in not dubbing my voice, but read out text to speech, read out those captions in a French or German kind of native sounding voice, not my voice, a different voice. Thank you, Fallen. Accessibility is a very important aspect for me. So the idea is to actually multi-stream using Atom. Uh, I don't need the vertical plugin for this, actually. We, we don't need the vertical plugin. I do have it installed, but we don't need it for this. Is to actually multi-stream. So right now I'm streaming to OBS, to uh, streaming to my primary channel, Maddie Tissues. But then I will stream to Maddie Zweischuhe, which is the German version of my name, and Maddie De Chaussure, which is the French version of my name. A native video, so the video wouldn't change. Everything that you see here is exactly the same, but it would have TTS in German and TTS in French. And I have, I have some initial tests. They're not great yet, but they're. I, I'm basically testing out the combination of what gives me the right speed, what gives me the right speed, because basically there's three tasks, right? You basically have to do transcription. So you, you have to put, oh, this is not a good explanation. You have to put in, in step one, you have to do voice into text, right? You have to convert your voice into text, which I already have. I already have very good transcriptions. Um, so you cannot send multiple CC tracks and different audio tracks to each particular stream um, yet. That's something that I still have to test out with multi. I don't think that you can send different audio tracks yet, right? Or you wait, can you send different audio tracks already? Different audio tracks, but not audio channels. I can't remember. I know that it's possible to send, I think it's possible to send the German audio to only to the German one and the French only to the French. But you have to get voice, voice into text, which I've solved because I already have CC. Step two, step two is to read out the text, text to TTS in the right. Oh, sorry, that's not correct. Step one, I have to draw this differently. Uh, step one, voice, I can't write, voice to text. Okay, so we've solved that. Step two is translation. This is, I would say, 80%. I've solved that by 80%, I would say. And then step three is TTS in each language. And I would say that is probably, I would say that's around 70%. So I'm close. I'm very close to having that. And yeah, when I'm doing that, I'm very, very excited to see what happens. It's something that's a really, really great use case, I think. Um, what makes that even sweeter <laughs> is the fact that I'm going to feature with my primary channel, with Matty Two Shoes, I'm going to feature the German and French ones in Guest Star, AKA streaming together, because at some point soon, it's already in testing, it's not live for everyone yet, but very soon there's going to be shared chat. So what's gonna happen is when someone chats from Matty Zwei Schuhe or Matty De Chaussure, you're gonna see that message in my chat too. And when shared chat is there, everything is solved. Then it's perfect. There'll even be shared viewership, apparently. So that's the idea. Yeah. So big reveal, big secret. I haven't told anyone yet. It's going to be very neat. So I'm going to just basically guest star myself 
I don't think that you need to actually run the overlays, but yeah, it's it's pretty funny. Um, yeah, overall, yeah, overall, I think it's going to be really interesting. It's going to be really interesting. Okay, let's get back to it, chat. Let's get back to it. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see if I can get it this time. No, didn't get it. Run a translation bot in chat for all message that people are going to pollute the chat. So I, I was thinking about that, A. I was thinking about that. Initially, when there's no shared chat, um, I'm just going to put those other two channels into emote only. I'm going to put them into emote only. Um, yes, I did see your Discord message. I actually haven't responded to you because I was at the cinema earlier today. But I am definitely going to look at it over the weekend, if that's okay. I'm definitely going to look at that for you. I need to turn the aircon on again. So. I hope that's okay in terms of timing, eh? So as I mentioned, A is also part of the claw. Definitely go check out all the streamers as part of the claw. And let's get back to it. So. What? So this is roughly the data that we have. Okay, now it did it. The fact is split by both sentences and semicolon. Um, ignore sentence parts that only have with n being a integer. Oh, Rugmat coming in. That's looking very positive. That is looking like a very good drop. Oh my word. Ooh, 9167. Nice. Very nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. The filter facts include excluding parts that only have a reference number are now categorized. Okay. So now what's interesting is, okay, I've split these out. I could have done that myself. <laughs> I could have done that with whatever, like, some clever code or something. For each fact in for each row in the table generated, now I want uh, expand expand these facts with columns that describe that extract extract information from the fact target columns what should the target columns be this is difficult I put my faith in data information ones and zeros never lie uh okay what are the target columns going to be what should they be Killed seven people after Yemeni unification. Fled prison, then proceeded to kill a young couple and three more people. Ah, uh, some of the facts still contain information about two separate events. Can you split them, please? I'm wondering if it's able to get the fled prison proceeded to kill young couple thing. Okay. Yes. Oh no. Uh. Make sure pertinent information stays together. E.g. E.g. 
Um, see the link row. It's cool that you can click a cell though, and then reference that cell in your analysis. That's kind of cool. How's my LinkedIn post doing? Holy moly. Oh no. <laughs> oh my word. The flax of, okay. Ah, oh, it's not it's not that great, chat. It's not that great. Does anyone know how to solve this in an easier way? Do we need to use like some NLP or something? I don't know. Let's try a different approach. Active what? Well, okay, so basically, sorry, solve. The issue is that it doesn't, it's not splitting the facts as I want them to be split. Let's try a different approach. Take the original input from notes and parse it using NLP to Welcome in annotate the text. Canhorn, hello! Have you tried a different model? No, not yet. Good night, A. Thank you very much for the raid again. A, do you want to know what number raid this was? Do you want to know what number raid this was for you? A, I think this was like your zillionth raid or something. 18! 18th raid. You've brought 319 people to this channel. Where are you? Where are you? Why are you not on here? Hold on. Oh, there you are. <laughs> You're so far up. You're so far up. Holy moly. I mean, A, in terms of top time ranking, I mean, you're almost total inbound raiders. 319. Yeah, you're beating out everyone. Oh no, fi oh, no, finite is 397. You're you're very close with finite and a four. Although a four is a very big channel. Even Panther has brought less than you. 284. Wow. Wow. Damn, eh? Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Impressive. I always tag you in my recaps, just so you know. Okay? I always tag you in my Patreon recaps. Every single recap, okay? You go to my Patreon page, you're always linked. So for example, here, stream recap, data cafe, blah, 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 clips. We didn't have any raids. Uh, stream recap, da, da, da. We had two claw raids. Shortly afterwards, A, AKA the helping designer, raided us for the 17th time since we've been counting. Blah, blah, blah. So I always I always link your account. I always link everybody who does this. We always link the person we rated to as well. So all the recaps, you have excellent uh, SEO, excellent backlinks. Anyway, go to sleep. Good night. Good night. Also, Canhorn, how are you? Canhorn, do you have a... Oh, no, I don't think you're on this list. I don't think you're on this list, Canhorn. You're a Claw Team member. The list on the right. This list. Because I don't think I've seen you streaming very often. Ah, no clips. Yeah, that's maybe the reason. <laughs> maybe that's the reason. Maybe that's why I didn't include. So this isn't to like exclude you from the list or something. Um, like of team members. It's just I don't think I don't think you are you still streaming at the moment. Do you stream at all? It would be nice to see uh, you stream again. The time I know the time zone thing, but like, okay. 
All right. The popcorn from the cinema chat. Oh my gosh. My my mouth is so dry from all the popcorn. It's horrible. <laughs> it's so bad. Um Yeah. Anyway. So, let's try a different let's try a different approach. Take the original input from notes and parse it using NLP to annot to annotate the text entities. Um, take the take the um, split the different entity information. Or I should say summarize. Summarize the different entity information in a JSON and include it in a single row for the perpetrator ID specified above. Let's try it like this. Not recently, but a month ago, I had to replace a teammate. A lot of interviews and stress, but I'm going to tomorrow. I'm going to add some new features to a code generator. Cool. Nice. All right, all right. Let me see if I'm online during your time zone. I don't know if I'm online during your time zone. What time zone are you? What time zone are you, Canhorn? I was, I was, gonna, I was just gonna type time.is slash Canhorn and realize that that's not, gonna, that's not gonna work. It doesn't know what city Canhorn is. <laughs> it's like not a city. Um, 15 minutes from finite. Okay, Minnesota? Is that right? CST, yeah. Agree. Most locations in the central time zone are currently observing CDT, not CST. Is that true? Are you observing CDT right now? Central time, central standard time. Is it actually this time for you is the question. Is it actually 3 p.m. in the afternoon? Because if it is, then it's correct. Eight hours behind me. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, this is what we got. So this is what we got. Here's the JSON summary with the extracted entities. Be right back sleeping. Bye, Padawan. Have a good night. Perpetrator ID, entities, noun phrases, seven people, Yemeni unification, prison, young couple, three more people. Mm. I think we need to specify what kind of information could be contained within these notes. Uh I don't know how to format this data differently. This doesn't work for quantitative analysis. What recommendation could you make for turning this kind of qualitative data into separate columns? Identify key information categories, manual annotation, advanced NLP, create structured data columns, Regular expressions, because this is... Uh, I mean... I guess we have to... I guess we have to specify the columns. I don't think there's another way around this. We have to do this. We have to create columns. 
so we could say um, sentence, cause of death, and uh, timestamp of the death. What other columns could we have? Um, what other information could be in there? Um, ooh, whether they took a break in their active years. Um, had break. We could do that. Whether they had a break in their active years. Um, suspected of poisoning. Okay, we need we need more things concerning the crimes. Let's let's just try with these four for now. Okay. Okay, for this original example, try to extract the following information into four target columns. Had break, um, boolean, whether the perp took a break from, what is, it, what is that, killing? Uh, took a break from pursuing Pursuing victims. Um, sentence. String. What kind of sentence was handed down by court slash judge? Uh, cause death. String. What the cause of death was, if applicable, what the cause of death ah, of the perp was, and death at timestamp. The timestamp, we could probably just use date, to be honest. I don't think there'll be timestamps. The date of the perp's death. So a couple of the interesting things, or a couple of the things I've been looking to figure out, um, a couple of the things I've been looking at are, for example, do killers escalate with their killings? So basically, for example, if you have a killer that has more than one victim, sorry, perpetrator, Oh, hold on. Cause of death, death at. Um, killed during a shootout with police. So it didn't extract that properly. It didn't do it properly. Cause of death should be shootout by police or something like that. Uh, cause death is incorrect. Check the original uh, notes field again. So what I'm thinking is like, when you have multiple victims, when the perpetrator had multiple victims, it would be interesting to know. So for example, if it's like a chart, if you have victim one here and victim two and victim three and victim four, whether the, for example, um, let's call it brutality or something. Like if this is a brutality scale, whether the perpetrators in general increase brutality over time with victims, for example. Like and for that, we need to take a subset. We can't do this information for every single... Um... Ha, huh. see? Nice. Okay. 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 There's no death uh, date though. 
So we would need to go do, if we selected this perpetrator, if we selected this perpetrator and we wanted to actually get this information, we would probably have to go find this perpetrator. Yemen. Yeah, okay. So I'd probably have to read, I'd probably have to do research like this shoot out with police right august 16th 1998 engaged in a firefight with the police killing one policeman injuring several others before being shot himself so i would have to put here now in this data set now that i have it shoot out with police and then death at 1998 08-16 now, what's interesting is maybe we can ask ChatGPT to fill this in. Um, the death at is empty. Can you fill this field if you know the perp perp's name was this? Because instead of just giving the IDs, we could give ChatGPT the perpetrator's names. I'm only withholding it. Oh, 12th of December? Where is the source for the death at? Where did it get that from? I don't have access to real-time sources. Oh, it's provided as an example. Wow. Amazing. Can you not research on the internet what the actual death at was? Ha. Huh. So it did it did figure it out. Okay, so it did figure it out eventually. Okay. Welcome into Walter. Hey Jay Walter. Wikidata. Interesting. What is Wikidata? Instance of human Given name, date of birth, place of birth, place of death, Wikipedia. Interesting. Yemeni serial killer. Instance of human, one reference. Wikidata. Is that like unifying all the wikis together or something? Wow. Uh, J. Walterbot is marked as a suspicious user. That's interesting. I mean, why are you being marked? Why are you being marked as suspicious? J. Walterbot dropped? Absolutely. J. Walterbot also dropped. You just don't see it in chat. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. J. Walterbot is here. You just don't see it. Don't be suspicious. See? See? J. Walter Bot's here. J. Walter Bot dropped before. That's why it was funny. Rogmat Bot is here too. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do about this. I don't really know what to do about this. Google knowledge graph. Huh. That's interesting. 
There's no such account as Maddie Two Bots. Nice try. Um, so I guess we need to select a subset of data first in order to be able to get this correct. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> I mean, technically there is an account. There is an account around. Is it Maddie two bots? I actually don't remember. I know there's a bot account around. I don't remember what it is though. Um, maybe I need to make an initial selection first from the data that I have to a subset of X perpetrators. And then from those X perpetrators, then do more research. I need to think about this chat because I can't, I don't think I can do this for the entire data set. It's impossible. Like it, it, or do I do it manually? Like manual data annotation. No, it's not body two shoes. <laughs> Although that's also a good name for a bot account. Um, my LinkedIn post is doing absolute wild numbers, by the way. My LinkedIn meme is currently at 33,500 impressions. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> meme of the day. Meme of the day. Jay Waldo, you might enjoy this one. 33,000 impressions on LinkedIn so far. We are not going outside. I was outside earlier. It's warm. It's too warm. I think... Like, I don't know. Maybe I need to do a data selection first. Like, maybe I need to select based on active period, based on how many confirmed victims they had. Like look at look at ones that had like between three and seven confirmed victims or something, or like more than ten or something like that. And then of that subset, do the analysis. But then I maybe I don't find the pattern that I want. You know what I'm that's what I'm worried about. Like if I do filter by values, for example, and I say filter by condition, um greater than ten, for example. Okay? So these are all, these are all, uh, what is this? Gender unknown. Let's look at all, all female, female, multiple persons, false. Okay. Delfina and Maria de Jesus. Oh, this is not true. This is multiple persons. This is also multiple persons. So this data set isn't great. It's not perfect. Marie Alexandrine Becker, for example, Belgium. Okay. 1933 to 1936, 11, 11 confirmed victims, poisoned wealthy clients while working as a seamstress, died in prison in 1942. Poisoned wealthy clients. Could I find out more about each individual victim about these female serial killers, for example. Probably. I probably could. Female serial killers with over 10 confirmed victims. Romanian serial killer, Granny Ripper, Mother Rasputin, murdering 16 women during three separate murder sprees. He, he was really, oh, that's a, not a female, sorry. Irina, known as Satan, in a skirt. Self-proclaimed witch. This was in 1900 to 1912. I mean... I, that's the kind of the thing. I Maybe I need to determine the analysis direction. Maybe I need to determine the analysis direction before I go and get more data for each of these particular serial killers. 
Chat, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Matty2Bots. Wow. Wow. Okay. So that happened. Welcome in Maddie underscore two bots. Welcome in Eagle Louise. I don't know what to do either. I've just arrived. Eagle! Welcome in. The question is, basically, I, there's two options. There's two doors. Okay? There's door A and door B. Okay? Door A. Door A is try and attempt to get all the data as much as possible and flesh out the data set. Basically, okay? More data, as much as possible. Flesh out the data set. Try and, try and like, try and figure out um, as much as possible about all of the perpetrators in that data set. So there's like 1,500 perpetrators. Try and get all the victims. Try and complete that as much as possible, which is unfeasible for the entire data set. So I'll, I'll definitely have to, I'll have to reduce it at some level. Option B is subset. Option B is take a subset and yeah, and basically just only do that process for a subset of the data. For example, known female perpetrators with over 10 victims confirmed, for example. So yeah, that's like, those are the two options, A or B. Because we can't vote in this chat properly, because we can't vote in this chat. By the way, have you seen my t-shirt? Do we have the data or do we have to build it? We have some of the data. We have some of the data. Let me give you an example. Um, we have some of the data. So for example, what we have, can I clear all the filters at once? No, select all, select all, select all. Select all. Uh, filter by condition, none. So we have this ginormous data set. It has um, 1400 rows. There's a couple of dupes, basically. There's a couple of dupes. But in general, we have uh, the name of the perpetrator. We have if they are multiple persons, because sometimes they are multiple people. So for example, John and Sarah Macon, right? Um, we have whether they used an alias. Sometimes we don't have a real name. Sometimes they operate under an alias. We have the country of origin, although that's also not 100% accurate all the time. We have active from and active to, and we have whether they are still active now the ones that we basically don't have information on, basically. And then there's a notes. Oh, we have victims confirmed and victims speculated. And then we have a notes field. So for example, convicted of murdering his second wife in Antigua and Barbuda, also a suspect in the murders of his first wife and a friend in Chicago. And the thing is, is that I would love to extract this information into a quantitative data set. So if you don't have anything in here to put quantitatively, like um, there's no thing here about whether this perpetrator is still alive or not, or what sentence they got, or whether they were convicted or not, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so those are all kind of open points, essentially. So would it be, essentially it comes down to this. Would it be parsing 1400 rows for every single row here, a combination of maybe GPT, GPT and um, manual, or would it be 
selecting based on the criteria we have here, selecting a subset of data, and then with that subset, processing the notes and doing more research because it's going to need more research anyway. For example, if we decide to do, I don't know, this person, this perpetrator, active from 1997 to 1997, uh, gender unknown, Paul, I think that's a male name, I would say, Paul Dennis Raid, known as the fast food killer. So there's no other information. All it says is seven confirmed victims, right? So if I were to Google this, fast food, right? American serial killer, then I could go to the Wikipedia page. I could go look at every single one of uh, the crimes. I could look at the victims. I could try and research that, but I can't do that for 1300. I cannot do that for 1300 rows of data. Impossible, simply not possible. Even with GPT powers, it's not possible. So I would need to probably, I think the outcome is, I think the outcome is pretty obvious. I think that we need to select a subset and approach it from that angle. I don't think there's any other way. Of course, we can do summary statistics. We can do summary statistics on perpetrators overall with how many incidents and stuff. Like we could do that summary statistics level. Like these are the amount of serial kill. This is the serial killer data we have. 80% of them are from the United States. 20% are from other countries. Um, most serial killers, most perpetrators had confirmed victims between two and seven. Um, like we can do summary statistics like that. But that's not valuable. It's not a valuable data story. It's not a unique angle. It's not something that no one else can do. I want something that no one else can do. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, I want I want something that is unique. It's a unique perspective, ultimately. For the YouTube video. So if you're not following my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs> exactly. Like and subscribe. Um, you don't need to like, by the way. But just so you're aware, um, what is my YouTube channel about? Well, my YouTube channel, it's very simple. My YouTube channel is about um, all things data and content creation. So you have, uh, I have playlists, right? So if I have, like here I have, I had a lot of shorts. <laughs> really a lot. I stopped making shorts now, but I had a lot of shorts. I have this series. Oh my gosh. Yay. Follow botting. Lovely. That's awesome. Sari is doing as much as possible to do this, but we are being follow botted right now. Uh, let me just mute the alert. Sorry. That has not happened very often. Wild. That is wild. Um, one second here. So I've turned on shield mode, which means that none of these bots can actually do anything, but all of you VIPs and stuff, you'll still be able to chat. The lights are just going to blink permanently. That's cool. Wow, this is a big one, huh? That's a big one. A lot of them are still getting through, unfortunately. Uh, let me just time out stream elements. Uh... Let me just time out stream elements for a bit. This is wild. Well, I guess that's the end of the stream for today. Absolutely wild. Insane. 
Let's check what's going on in shield mode here. You should all be able to chat still. Those of you who are VIP and stuff. Yeah, see, you can still chat. What about non VIPs? I'm actually curious. I'm actually not sure. Oh, wow. Okay. Just so many. So many. Okay. I turned shield off. I think it's uh I think it's over now. Was well, sub only mode. Oh wow, sub only. Okay. So shield, yeah, I, I had shield like on maximum effect. <laughs> um I've read about this but I haven't implemented it yet. Workflows with AI agents. Learn with Hassan. Thank you for pasting the link. I'll have to take a look at that. It's interesting. What's the point of follow botting? I've always, I've always kind of wondered that, Rogma. I've kind of wondered that. Um, I think. I, I guess it's some kind of a spam tactic. Against, I don't know if it's actually against the creator. It might even be against Twitch. Like it might be a kind of DDoS for Twitch actually. But I don't really understand why people follow bot, no. I don't really understand. Especially because like if the creator did it, I'm not, I obviously did not, but if the creator did it, then I would kind of understand because well, yeah, because the creator wants to have more followers. But how many followers do I have now? It's probably going to be a crazy number. It's still 1.5. Okay. So that wasn't that many, actually. Fine. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, scene collection. Oh, it's Adam that's doing the lights. Take care, Eagle. Thank you very much for the uh, link. I appreciate that. So anyway, if you're wondering about the YouTube channel, um, so this using data to series, this is the video I want to have about the serial killers. I might have to do another video before it. I don't know if I'll be able to finish the serial killer one that quickly. Um, I have some other videos here that are interesting. <laughs> I guess I have some like weird Twitch highlights and moments. Um, and then I have all the VODs from the live stream. So yeah, so if you're ever missing a stream, uh, this is where you go. You can always get the newest live stream if you missed it. Yeah, that's basically it. Let's find someone to raid people. Let's do it. That made me very tired somehow. I don't know why, but that made me made me tired. I don't. I don't that doesn't really make any sense. I know that doesn't make sense, but. Um, yeah, somehow getting follow about it made me tired, which is weird. Um, oh, the lights maybe, yeah, could be. I'd have to turn off Adam completely, which I don't want to. I don't want to turn off Adam. Um, let's see. Who's around? Oh, right, there's the raid browser thing. I got to try that out. I got to try the raid browser thing. Raid browser. Um, in the meantime, uh, thank you everyone. I really appreciate you coming back again for the third stream this week. Um, I actually don't know 
what my schedule... Oh. That's an interesting one. <laughs> uh, I actually don't know what my schedule is going to be like next week. I thought it would be a normal schedule, but there's a chance that it's not. Um... But as usual, I will always post a story in Twitch's app. Um, well, that's going to be a lot of followers now. I always post a Twitch a story, Twitch story Monday morning. And you can always check my schedule. I try to keep the schedule up to date. I am aware that it's sometimes not possible. Um, let's take a look here. Uh, search and filter. Search by tag? No. Similar or smaller size? No, I don't care about that. But thank you very much for all of your support, everyone. Yeah, the lights, maybe it's the lights. Could be. Can I just turn them off? Ah, uh, they keep getting overridden. JD Does Dev is not live. Uh, anyone from Claw, I can check very quickly. I have a little raid browser. No. Who we got here? What are you all in the mood for? Is anyone in the mood for something in particular? Not reading new followers out loud today? No. Uh, we raided X Humming uh, recently, I think. Let me just check the stats on that, Rugmat. I think we raided X Humming recently. Actually, no. We haven't raided X Humming in a while. Really? That seems wrong. I could have sworn. Ghost Daddy. Hey, ghost. But yeah, okay. X humming. I haven't seen. I haven't seen X humming in this list. Uh, are they on break? Oh yeah. She's on break. Good. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we're gonna go raid Sarah. Uh, we will see each other on Monday, I guess. Yeah, we should see each other on Monday. Um, let's hope we don't get follow about it again. That's a bit strange. But yeah, it's the end of her stream. No, no, it's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No problem. She'll just carry on the raid to someone else. No worries. All right. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Have a good weekend. Good time. Good time zone. Goodbye.